What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and today I have an updated Numeron deck profile for you guys. <clears throat> now, to be fair, it's been quite it's been quite some time since I did an update on this deck, and I wanted to update it, a, a, update it again, just because of the fact that the last time I did I I did this deck, I, there were I I think I had what what two sets of kaiju's I think I don't I, I don't remember it's been it's been a while but I, but I realized excuse me that there's a card in the format that's that is limited to one that you that you can actually use to search out to search out Numeron Network if you don't have access to Numeron Wall, which is obviously which is obviously Gold Sarcophagus. The card can just search out any card from your deck, banish it face up, and during your set during your second standby phase after you activate a Gold Sark, that you add that card to your hand. So it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a, it's it's sort of like a Rota, sort of. But you have to wait like two turns to to add, add it to your hand. But other than that, what I did was I did a complete a complete one 180 on on this deck. I took about I think I took like six or seven cards out out of the deck and I added added a few um added a few new additions to to the deck. The extra deck I did make I did make a couple a couple of changes. The side deck I did I did a complete 180 on on as well. Other than that, it's pretty much the same for for the most part. But before we get into today's video, guys, we are we are we are 37 subs away from 200. We are drawing closer and closer to the goal of reaching 200 subscribers. And as I have said in previous videos, if this channel gets to 200 subs, I will open up this Korean Strike of Neo's booster box in its entirety on the channel. On the hopes to potentially pull this guy, Elemental, Elemental Hero Air Neos. However, if the channel gets to a thousand sub, sorry, five hundred subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel. On the hopes of to potentially pull, pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Head of Exodia, maybe even pull Monster Reborn, maybe a Pot of Greed. The possibilities are out there. However, if the channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel on the hopes of to potentially pull a collector's rare. So if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more deck profiles in the future. Maybe you guys want want more episodes of of WWE's biggest issue. Maybe you guys want some some more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's biggest issue. Well, if you guys want all those vi all those different vi all those different videos and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys have not done so already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on turn on the notification bell, follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. Let's get straight into it, guys. Kicking things off, we got three copies of of Numeron Wall. Obviously, obviously, this is a Cyber Dragon on a on a one star body. Not not only that, but what's cool cool about this is that this acts as a terraforming where where you can actually search out Numeron Network, which gives you access to activate Numeron Calling from from the deck, summon summon out all four Numeron Gates. And you could just combo combo off from there, and you could potentially push for game. Basically, basically, numeral wall is like the best card that that, that you could that you can use to bait again to just bait to just push for game. Like, like with all four with one copy of all four new numeral gates on board, they all have the exact same same effect where it says where it says that 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 they can't be that they cannot be destroyed by battle, and at the end of the damage step, if it battled an opponent's monster, you're able to double the double the, the attack of of all Numeron monsters you currently control until the end of the turn. But but the funny thing is is that if you have 
if you have Numeron Network on board, you don't you don't have to detach any materials to to trigger off their effects. And and funny thing is that Numeron Calling is a way to is, is a way to get all four all four Numeron gates on board without even have to do any overlaying at all, which is pretty cool. So new so again three copies of of Numeron Wall. Then we got two copies of Lava Golem. This is basically a this is basically a, the, a it's a kaiju. That's all it is. It's basically excuse me. It's essentially a kaiju on a three on on a three thousand body. And what's funny uh, and what's not what not not what's funny. What's cool about 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 Lava Golem is that. Is that he can deal a thousand damage to your opponent during each of their their standby phases, which if they have nothing to 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 get rid of lava golem, which for the most part they're going to, then that puts it puts them on a eight turn clock, which 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 essentially means in you know in you know in eight turns. They 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 actually lose lose the game, which is pretty pretty, pretty crazy. Then then we got two copies of Gamseal the Sea Turtle Kaiju. This is a base again, again again one of the kaiju's that I decided to run in this deck. Reason being, the reason being is because is because of the fact that sprites are still in the meta. Turtle Mint is still in the meta in spite in spite of, of the fact that that the last that the that the ban list hit the deck drastically. Not only that, but but you also have as well Fluendarese. Flu Fluendarese is still in in the meta, and all three of those decks have the potential to run to run. The water berry statue, berry. I think it's called berry statue of the torrent. I, I think it is. So if they act, so if they normal summon torrent, and they pass, Gamseal Gamseal is gonna be the one shot you have to out the the water barrier statue. I would run get get Darla, but the thing is, is that the wind barrier statue is banned. So the only so the only other option is. Is Gam is Gam is Gam Seal on the on the water barrier statue, and then to round up to round up the monsters because there's only 15 in the deck in the main deck. We got we got two copies each of Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Ghost Bell, and Effect Veiler. Obviously, 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 you don't you don't want you don't want your opponent adding cards. Special summoning cards from the deck or sending cards from the deck to their graveyard. You don't want them to activate any effects that, that were already on, on, on the field. You don't want them activating effects that, that that trigger in the graveyard. And you sure as hell don't want them to 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 activate to activate any any monsters that are on board in the form of of the of the effect veiler, so you don't you don't want 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 to see any of those effects get triggered. So again, so again, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Ghost Bell, and Effect Veiler are your best options for 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 this deck. Moving on, moving on into the spells, we got a for for the one ofs, we got Harpy's Harpy's Feather Duster, Pot of Avarice, Call by. Rank up Magic Numeron Force and Gold Sarcophagus. Duster, obviously, obviously because of back row. You don't want your opponent to have to have any back row whatsoever. And this card right here just just wipes it clean. Pot of Avarice is in here in case if just in case if you want to recycle your recycle all of your all of your hand all of your monsters back into your back into the deck to try and to try and Wipe your opponent's board clean. Pot of Avarice is in here to do just that. So, so the idea would be for you to take all the hand traps: Ghost Bell, Ghost Ogre, 
uh, Ash, Blossom, and of course the Effect Veiler, and potentially, you know, a, a, you know, a, a, and potentially a a Lava Golem or even a Gamp Seal. Take f take any five of those monsters, put it back into your deck, draw two, and if one of those cards ends up being the Lava Golem or the Ash Blossom, you basically have a disruption on, in in hand, which is pretty cool. Call by obviously you don't want you don't want your opponent to activate Ash Blossom, which is kind of funny. Uh, so Ash Blossom is in, so Call by is in here for that. Numeron Force is actually kind of a funny one because you can actually use this on. On Silent Honor Arc, go into Silent Honor Dark, especially if Dark is the only car is the only monster you have on board. Then it basically it basically acts as a Dark Ruler no more, more, but for your but for your opponent's cut but for um for all of your opponent's cards, any cards that 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 they have on their board gets gets negated in an instant, and and they would have to find a way to recycle that back. Back in into the main deck, their extra deck, and resummon them so you, so they don't get succumbed to the effects of Numeron Force, which is pretty pretty insane. And then, and then the, and then of course the aforementioned Gold Sark. What's what I find interesting about 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 Gold Sark is that you can again again as I talked about earlier on in the video. You can add any card to your hands during your second standby phase. So if you so if you active so let's say you did activate activate Gold Sark and you have no access to to Numeron Network. If you don't have Numeron Wall, you can add Numeron Wall to your hand hand during your second standby phase by banishing just by banishing Numeron Wall. But but if you don't have if, but if you don't have a way to stop back row, you can add cards such as the Harpy's such as the Harpy's Feather Duster or even potentially Zing Zang Hu, which I am running two of in 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 the main deck, to stop the opponent from from using their back row, which is pretty insane. Pretty insane. And then to round up the rest of the spells, we got two copies of Numeron Calling, which again which again, with 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 uh, Numeron Network, you can you can summon out the four Numeron Gates from there. Three copies of Memories of Hope, and the reason and the thing is that this is basically your best draw card possible because if you have, let's say just let's say in a multiverse where you have all four Numeron Gates on board, plus let's say Silent Honor Dark. And I'll say, I'll say number eleven, big guy. Let's just say that. Which, in in interestingly enough, I'm not running in in my in my extra deck. But let's just say that you activate Memories of Hope. That's six cards you're drawing. It's almost as if you're drawing like a, a complete new hand. But but if you have all four Numeron Gates on board. Then you're basically drawing four cards, and it's as if you're replenishing replenishing your hands by drawing out your 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 hand traps, so you're able to gain, so you're able to get quite a few few dis, a few disruptions in in hand. So when they activate the, their effects, you can just go Ash Blossom or go Ghost Ogre or Ghost Bell or whatever, and you and you just and you just pop off from there, which is pretty cool. Then we got two copies of Xyz Import. Reason being is because of is because of of two specific cards in this deck. One one is obviously is ob obviously is obviously Silent, Silent Honor Dark, but the second one, the second reason is actually is actually one of my is actually because of one of my three Waking Waking the Dragon targets, which is number 89 Diablosis the Mind Hacker. This card basically just ensures that that you get to force deck out your opponent really fast, which is nuts. And what's and, and what's even more cool about about this card is that if, if you're going up against a meta deck, because this is more more of an anti-meta strategy of, of of sorts, 
if you're going if you're going up against decks such as you know sprites or Tillman or or whatever, you can activate Diablos's effect, detach one one of its materials, banish one of your opponents um one of your opponents um <sighs> extra deck monsters, banish ban, ban, you know banish even more cards, and then and then once. Once it, sorry guys, I thought I heard something. Once it reach, once you're able to reach the end of the damage step, you ban, you get to banish a card from your opponent's graveyard, and you and you get to mill even more cards from 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 their main deck, which would force deck them out, which is pretty cool. So that's that's why I've got the two copies of 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 Xyz import, and then to round up to to round up the spells, we got two copies of Numeron. Network. Now the traps. You guys are you guys are probably gonna are probably gonna roast. I'm probably gonna get roasted in in the comments for the, for my trap lineup, but it makes sense. So for so for my traps, I've got not one but two copies of a very old card from from the DM era, from like late DM early GX era called Hidden Spellbook. If you guys have never seen seen this card before, it's a normal trap card that reads. During your turn, target two spells in your grave. Shuffle those t targets into the deck. So, in a scenario where 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 you need where you need, you need to search out search out, let's say lava golem golem like really fast, and you need back row removal, you can go. You can you you can go. You can go. Mem you can go. Memories of hope. Draw four cards if you have four all four numeron gates on board. Activate. Activate hidden hidden spell book to search out, or actually, let me let me let me rephrase that. You activate harpy's harpy's feather duster to wipe their opponent's board clean. Activate activate hidden spell book. Take take goldsark and duster. Put them back into your deck. Put them back in into your deck, and then go pot of avarice. Take five take five monsters from from your graveyard. Shuffle those cards back into the deck. Draw two, and if one of those two is 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 Gold Sark, you activate activate Gold Sark, and you can target 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 the Lava Golem, banish it, and during your second standby phase, you add it you add it to your hand. This card basically just ensures that you're able to gain that you're able to gain access back to to any one to any two of your one ofs, which is whether it's the Avarice, the Call by, Gold Sark, or even the Feather Duster, because because Numeron and Force, you don't you don't want to use it. You don't want want to use it on 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 the num on on the Numeron Gate, Numeron Chaos Gate Gate, Numeron Chaos Gate Sunya. The reason being is because you want to is because you want to um. You you want to ensure that that you're able to wipe your opponent's board clean. Is it po is it possible to use Numeron Force on you know you know on the Numeron on on the Numeron Chaos Gate? Absolutely, it is. But but the problem is that is that if that were to be if that were to be the case, your then your opponent would 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 be would have an out to it. And it would be as if they have nothing on board. So, so that's something that you gotta be be careful with. But again, that's why I decided to run two copies of Hidden Spellbook. Is because is because I want to make sure that I have access to my to my to my one ofs again. Then we got three copies, not one, not two, but three copies of Waking the Dragon. It, I know it's an, I, I know it's a semi old school card. Dating back to what 2018, what 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. So it's been a while. It's been a while that, that that this card's been around, but the card is still so good. It's a good. It's an excellent bait to be able to be able to summon Silent Honor Arc, active activate Numeron Force, go into Silent Honor Dark, and just pop off from there, which is pretty cool. And then since we have a bunch of numbers in the extra deck, I am running two copies of Numeron Wall. You guys are wondering, wait a minute, why this card? What does this card even do? Well, 
Well, it's a continuous trap card that was released in Number Hunters, actually. In which I think I, I think I should get another box of that. I've been wanting to open up open up another box just to see if I'm able to get get the full set. Which I kind of want to get a whole case now, I think, now that I think about it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out at some point. But with that being said, with 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 that being said, numeral walls effect effect reach activate only if you control a number monster. Number monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects and cannot be destroyed by battle except with another number monster. When a number monster you control is destroyed, destroy this card. This is a good way to the this is a really good floodgate. Especially if your opponent if your opponent doesn't have any numbers. So let's say for example you were going you were face you were playing against a Marine Says deck. Let's just say that because I know that Marine Says had you know had has had has had a few tops over over the years. But let's say for example you were going going up against a Marine Says deck that wasn't playing any number monsters whatsoever. If Numeron Wall is on board, your opponent will have a hard time. Removing, removing your your numbers from the field, and the only way to remove it is with back row removal. Which, in which in today's meta, yes, yes, there are there are quite a few, but 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 if you're a but as but as long as you have access to Numeron Force and to your to your hand traps, your opponent won't be able won't be able to do jack shit. And speaking of not being able to do jack shit, we have two copies of Zing Zing Hu, obviously to stop the opponent from activating their back row. And then to round up to round up the main deck, we got two copies of Solemn Warning. Now my extra deck is gonna be a bit weird, but you guys will have an understanding of why. So I'm gonna go from I'm actually gonna go backwards from from links to fusions if I was running any fusions, but but I've got 14 Xyz monsters and a single Link monster in the form of the Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. This card is absolutely nuts. Being able to summon this card during your second during during your second main phase, if your opponent stopped stopped you from going into battle phase, you could just go into your site into your second main phase, link off all four Numeron gates into into the into the Mech Knight Avermax, and you basically just and you basically have a a board breaker right right there, which is pretty cool. Then of course, as I said, I am running one of all four sorry, two of all four Numeron gates. So we so I've got so I've got two Trini, two Div, two Akum, and two Kavari, as well as the one Numeron Chaos Gate Sunya. I was contemplating whether or not I should utilize um uh the Numeronius cards, but the problem is that I don't know if it would be I don't know if the if those cards would be playable in this format, I don't. I don't even know. I've been, I've been trying, but I haven't came up with anything. Anything, unfortunately. But that's basically that, as far as the Numeron Gates go. Then and then to round to round up to round up the rest of the Xyz monsters, I've got obviously Silent Honor, Silent Honor Arc, Silent Honor Dark, Number Eighty Nine Diablos, the Mind Hacker. Number thirty-eight, Hope Harbinger, Dragon Titanic Galaxy. This is a good. A, a, this is basically Silent Honor Dark, but in the, but 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 in a but in a rank eight three K body. And what's cool about about number thirty-eight is that is that any spell or effect that gets activated gets attached to itself as as a material, which can help you go into Zeus because. Obviously, you guys know the more, the more materials both dark and, and, and hope harbinger have, the more board wipes, the more board wipes you're gonna have for Zeus. And if you and if Zeus is the only card on board for you, you're good. You're good. You're not gonna. You, your opponent won't be able to do anything. All 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 they can do is just pass. That's all they can do. But as far as my side deck goes, my side deck is mainly in here. Going up against against Kashira, Sprite, Marine says, as well as um, uh, Fluenda Rees, because obviously Fluenda Rees can do actually does a lot of of 
of normal summoning, there's a lot of like car, uh, cards being sent to the graveyard, cards being recycled back, back into the deck and whatnot. So to counteract those type, those types of decks, I've got two copies of Nibiru the Primal Beam, three copies of of Didi Crow, a single co copy of Infinitrack Fortress Mega Cops as a way to as a way to bring back your as a way to bring back the exceed monsters that, that that I have at my at my disposal which were, is which is pretty cool. Cypher and Little Omega is in here as a way to recycle cards that were banished back into the deck. So cards so cards such as so cards such as the Numeron Gates is is one is one thing that, that can be that can be put back into the graveyard. And then obviously, obviously, Pot of Avarice you can put them back, put them back into the back into the extra deck. Draw two, search out for your for your for your hand traps of one now, which is pretty cool. We got a second pot pot of Avarice, just in case if you need you need a little more a little more draw power. And let's say, for example, you know you know you know the call by didn't work out so well, or perhaps like. Um, or perhaps like and like your you know your numeral walls didn't work or 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 whatever you can you can sign them out for um for for the for the second the second part of avarice and you can just go go off from there. Two copies of Dark Ruler No More as a way to not only stop your opponent from activating monster effects, but when but when paired off with with Zing Zang Hu. That's a nasty board right there. That is a nasty way to stop your opponent from doing anything at all, which is insane. Two copies of 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 um, of uh, uh, cosmic cyclone as a way as you know e as even more back row removal, which is pretty cool. A third Xyz import and two copies of Psalm Strike, just in case if if, if your opponent does indeed summon out. Their their Castor board strike sh sh strike is in there in, in here to stop it in in its tracks, which is absolutely nuts. So all in all, this deck is ab absolutely insane, pretty pretty nuts in my opinion. I'll be showing off the deck on my Instagram. I want to say about an hour or two, maybe within a few hours after after this, this video gets put up. So make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. My ad will be in. The description below, as will the rest of my social media, will also be my ad. Will my ads to the rest of my social media will be in in the description, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new to the channel, you guys want more deck profiles in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.